Are you ready? I don't think mine's gonna work. <laughs> Hey guys, Cassie here with my sister. <laughs> with my sister, yes. This is my sister Jacqueline, and Hi. no, we are not twins, but I think we look the same today. Well, I got here and we were wearing the same exact thing, so Cassie had to change. <laughs> so, you guys, there is something happening today, there is something different. We're gonna have some fun in the kitchen. I love Chopped. Do you love complete competition shows? Love. Okay, so it's always been my dream to be on Chopped. Um, that's probably never gonna happen, so I decided to bring Chopped to the house, and instead of surprising myself with my own basket, we have a spinning wheel of food, and pretty much we're gonna spin it, and whatever it lands on, we're gonna go up to five, is what we have to cook with. We have to use every ingredient, or else, you know, we're we're not home chefs. Okay, so like, is there like a secret ingredient that comes in at like five minutes before the time set? Um, we are not that advanced. This is episode one, <laughs> maybe later. Okay, so what we see here is what's gonna be on our plate. Okay, okay. You, you wanna take the first spin? Okay, I'm going. Okay, go. Ready? Uh -huh. oh, I've always wanted to do the prices right. Okay. <laughs> you like my happy face? Looks pretty cute. Okay. Cauliflower rice. rice. Okay, that's good. I know what to do with okay. that. Okay, okay. Oh, and we are competing against each other. We'll try each other's food at the end, and then Sam is gonna pop in and like be the actual food tester. All right, judge. what's the next ingredient? Ooh, 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 ooh. Cucumbers. Cucumbers. <laughs> okay. Okay. Clearly not as excited about okay. that one. Okay, let's move on. I have nothing to say about cucumbers. All right, on to number three. Give me something good. Give me some. Garbanzo beans. <laughs> okay. This is an interesting meal so Let's far. Get, okay, this is supposed to represent like what I randomly have in my fridge in my pantry. So, don't <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I I do have an idea of what I want to make. I do have okay. an idea. Okay, Great. go for it. Okay, last is this one. The last one. Is number five. But I love tofu. You just have to season it right. Zucchini! Okay, this is gonna be super vegan. Um, so you guys, all of the ingredients that I put on uh, the spinning wheel. <laughs> wait. Don't worry, we have is, a safe haven. Is the goal to make a healthy meal or can I just deep fry everything? <laughs> well, so here's the thing. So all of the ingredients on here are 90 day journey friendly. So they're like gluten free, uh, dairy free, and added sugar free. So don't worry because we also get to dig into the safe haven pantry with staples, which includes oil. So you can do what you want. Okay, we're going deep fried. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think she's gonna win. <laughs> you know, this idea is a little bit half baked because Sam's gonna come in and obviously pick the deep fried thing. But we also want, I also want to show you healthy recipes that you can make at home. So uh, so maybe we need like a score on like health factor and a score on like taste factor. Okay, that works. I don't know. We'll I will win uh, taste factor. Okay. Then. I'm gonna just go all in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, good luck to us. We're gonna go grab the food. Well, before I even say what I'm making, you guys, the whole point of this show is to see how you can cook with um, what you have lying around, which is something that I run into every time I'm in the kitchen. I get super creative. Um, you ever? At home, Nick and I like to say we're scrounging for dinner tonight, which uh -huh. means we get whatever is in the fridge and the pantry, and sometimes it works. Oh, and our safe haven pantry is right behind us. Just like random things that most people have in their house, you know, eggs and stuff, and we can pull from that. Um, garnishes and spices, totally okay, but we have to use all five of these ingredients in our meal. We are just like home chefs. Hey, I enjoy cooking a lot. Mm -hmm. Every time Jacqueline comes over, I like force her to eat my creations, her and Nick and Sam. Yeah, you guys think she's saying forced for fun, but it's actually forced. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'll watch you eat it. She wants close up, slow motions of it. Then she needs to hear that it's good. Yeah. So today we have these five ingredients, and this is what I'm thinking it's some type of a fried rice situation. Okay, so I've chopped up my tofu, now I'm gonna marinate it. Now I'm using the rest of my coconut aminos. This will add the sweetness. And I'm gonna add some gluten-free soy sauce, which will add the salt. It's fall, so I was gonna somehow try to make like a cauliflower zucchini soup with oh. fried tofu and garbanzo beans on top. Oh! I don't know how you make cauliflower soup, so this is gonna be interesting. I don't usually cook with these very specific five ingredients. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well I have my cauliflower rice and my zucchini in here, so I'm just gonna put in some chicken stock. I almost wonder if I was supposed to cook the cauliflower first. <laughs> now it's like raw, oh. raw You know soup. what, I think that might have helped. But that's okay, I think it's if you reversed. simmer it, it might be okay. You know, here's the thing about cooking, you guys. As long as you're not baking, you can pretty much save it. Jack, I'm excited to see what you're making. I mean, I know what you're making, but excited to see how it's gonna taste. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm a little stressed. Okay. <laughs> we're on a time crunch, and um, the only person filming is Sam, and uh, we're both getting our ingredients. We don't have any other help, so yeah, it is stressful. <laughs> it is a little stressful. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make, um, I forget what you call it. You know, at, at, in the sushi restaurants, they have like that s kind of s sweet cucumber dish. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna make. I don't, I think it's called like sunu munu, or I don't wanna say it wrong. So I'm gonna use vinegar and um, monk fruit sugar to do that. Just tasted my soup. Mmm, that's good. How, how is it? Interesting. Oh no. Is the adjective I would use to describe it. Tofu, I'm really like, I feel like that's solid. With. Okay, I'm going to start frying my tofu alone. Um, you know what, I'll take the garbanzos too, because I want these to be crispy. Um, I think you stole that idea from me. It's a shared kitchen. Rude. <laughs> okay, I have to deal with my disaster soup. How's it? It's okay. <laughs> I like over seasoned it because I was scared. The soup is definitely gonna go here and like you're not gonna taste the soup. I feel like I'm lucky because the ingredients we got besides the cucumber allowed me to make a staple that I always make. Mm -hmm. How far are you from finishing? Good, I decided to last minute make soft boiled eggs to save my dish. Oh, everyone loves a soft boiled egg. Mm -hmm. It'll be good. So that is almost done. It'll be done in four minutes. I love soft boiled eggs, I recently discovered them. You need to teach me how to do that. Well, let me tell you how to make soft boiled eggs. You boil water uh -huh. to a rolling boil, and then you put it in there for seven minutes. I do seven minutes, no more, no less. Oh wow. And then as soon as seven minutes hits, you put in ice bath and it's ready to go. So, I sound very confident, hopefully I did this right. You told me you're like so good at this. I'm excited to see how it turns out. <gasps> oh! Wow! Oh, that's what? cool. Look at that. Can you see this? I. You know what? It's okay. artistic. I love it. And then wait for this. This is a soft boiled egg, but we're going to do? Um, get people to know that it's soft boiled. So I'm going to pre-open it for the guests. When you do that, I'm going to like get a slow mo video because okay. you know I like that. Okay. Are you okay. ready? I'm yeah, get this a video is a really this. funny. This is play. like this is egg porn right here. I love this. Okay, soft boil egg time. That's not soft boiled. It's okay. It still looks great. <laughs> it still looks great. I <laughs> it's gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. I love that type of egg boil. Like it's good as long as it didn't turn, you know, that sulfurous. Was, that was the most anti-climatic <laughs> thing I've ever experienced. They look beautiful. Okay, so why don't you tell us the name of this dish? Okay, the name of this dish is cauliflower fried rice vegetarian with a side of cucumber salad sweet. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. It's good if you mix the cucumbers in. 
I like it. Yeah. You want to describe it's it? Similar to a lot of dishes Cassie makes. Very like edible. Good. It's it's like a seven out of ten. It's good. Okay. Heart is only dying a little inside. Hard boiled egg on one side. My favorite part about this is it's basically everything <laughs> that was fun just individually. Cheers. Cheers. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> That's the strongest flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better in small doses. Really salty. It's interesting. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, but you know what? Oh. Let me tell you. The gar the garbanzo the the beans. <laughs> that is where it's at. Sounds good. Fry your garbanzo yeah. beans. All right, you guys. Well, if you enjoyed that episode, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will include this recipe on my blog. It'll be in make the description sure box below. Jacqueline's too. I, that's what I want to make. No, oh yeah, and I'm gonna. Can I put your recipe? No, it's not a recipe. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Okay, the garbanzo beans though, and the tofu, really okay, good. Okay, I'll, I'll tell y'all about the garbanzo and the tofu, but the rest you should probably just not. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, everything will be on the blog. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if we should do another episode of this like should we try desserts next time should sam be in it oh. should, should we judge you or should jacqueline judge you i'm judge all right you guys love you so much and i'll see you next time bye, bye.